how y'all doing? As you can see, yesterday, it was real crappy and snowing slash raining all day. And today, what do you know? Clear skies, light jackets. Like I say, you gotta love Kansas. That siren you're actually hearing right now is is the 12 o'clock siren. That means, well, it's noon. So, uh, sorry, the dogs are barking in the background. That's the neighbor's dogs. But today I gotta take apart Jared's trampoline and then actually put his new one together because he got a new one for, for his birthday. So that's what we're gonna do. got done taking apart Jared's trampoline I'm gonna go in and eat some lunch real quick and once I'm done eating I'm gonna check out the news see what's all going on today all right there was a another school shooting but I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it and then after I get done well reading about it I'm gonna let you guys know What's really going on? So, oh, see, let me just take off my glasses. So, you think it's cold outside or a little chilly, so you put on a light jacket, then you start working, and then your body heat rises, and then you start sweating, which wears you out. But you know, it's okay. I don't mind sweating at all. But just wish the dogs would quit whining. They're still not used to their kennel or their outside kennel yet. Especially Lily. She's used to free rain, I guess you could say. So it's really killing her to, to be in a kennel, but she's going to have to get used to it. So yes, there was a school shooting today. Uh, the shooting's over, two people were injured, and one person died. The one person that died was the shooter. And how he died, it wasn't by cops. It wasn't by the SWAT team. A resource counselor shot him a resource counselor everyone wants to say no don't don't put don't let teachers or faculty members carry in a school are you kidding me can you imagine how many more students would have been killed if that resource teacher was not allowed to carry in school Heck yeah. Way to go. I say any teacher who wants to carry, carry. Because you know what? Go back to Florida. If a teacher had a gun, I guarantee you 17 families would not be mourning right now. Grant, it's it's it, it it's it's it stinks that those two people were injured, uh, but they're gonna live. They get to they get to live the rest of their life. And you know what's sad is that this story is probably not gonna be talked about for very long because. 
people who want to ban all these semi-automatics just got shoved right back in their face. Now, I don't know what type of uh, a, a weapon was used, but shots were fired. Resource teacher uh, realized what was going on, went and grabbed their gun and pursued the shooter and took one single shot, fatally wounding him. The shooter died uh, on the way to a hospital. Yeah, buddy. Arm teachers and things like what happened in Florida would not will not happen again. Now the uh, ATF, uh, alcohol, uh, tobacco, and firearms, they're in the they're uh, a part of the investigation, and also the F FBI is up there in Maryland. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't, it didn't say anything if the teacher got uh, shot as well. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, keep checking out news feeds as the day goes on. But I, that, yeah, I'm stoked that that guidance counselor or that resource counselor uh, had, a, had a weapon. <laughs> I've talked to people, they're like, no, uh, don't uh, arm teachers because it'll make schools feel like a prison. That's not okay. Well, you know what? If it keeps the kids safe, anyone who wants to carry inside of a school, go for it. But anyway, that's it for that little rant. Figure I'll let y'all know guns win. Uh, today, uh, like, I, like I've told you all in the past, a good person with a gun is better than a bad person with a gun. And in this instance, both people had guns, but the good person won. That's what I'm talking about. If teachers want to carry, put them through a course, teach them how to how to use the weapon properly and let them go back to work. Anyway, I just ate lunch. I uh, had a chicken sandwich, a, a, grilled, a grilled chicken oh, a couple nights ago. And uh, that's what I had for lunch. A grilled chicken breast sandwich. No lettuce, no tomato, no mayo. It was just... Uh, 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 wheat bread and the the chicken breast that was pretty good um, now I'm gonna go unbox the monster so it'll be a blast so we just had a great dinner that she made the nose hey anyway she made spaghetti it was pretty good as always we are going what? to watch a movie jerry you want to watch ferdinand yeah again <coughs> again yeah <coughs> he's awesome i'm a old cow a girl <laughs> daddy you well, we're about to watch ferdinand because that's now jared's favorite movie <clears throat> if you guys haven't seen it, you guys definitely should. It's pretty good. Um, about that shooting, uh, I'm going to post a link in the description. So go ahead and check it out. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> I ate a little spaghetti a little bit too fast. Because <clears throat> it's just so dang good. She, she went and got this, this uh, what did you get? Garlic the garlic garlic breadsticks, you know, like the ones that they serve at uh, Olive Garden, 
But even better, I'll tell you what, I love America. Okay, anyway, make sure y'all hit. Oh, sorry, make sure y'all hit the hit the thumbs up button. Let's go and get 20 likes today. Uh, make sure anyone doesn't matter if it's your first time, you've seen every single one of my videos, but make sure you share this video with all your friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. But and also, if this is your first time checking us out. Uh, before you share the video, go ahead and subscribe and then share. Remember, subscribe, then share. And this weekend, we're, we might go do something as a family. Uh, and uh, Scott might come with us. I don't know. I haven't talked to him about it yet. So uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the night. Remember, life's an adventure, so keep on living it. See you all tomorrow.